There's a very pretty pair of earrings up on screen for you now while you call into the pendant or maybe one of the rings that we've showed you this hour so far. Zoltanite gems appearing once again here at the Shopping Channel. You may not have seen them before. That's because most of them sold out last time we featured them back in March all in one show. It happened to be with Gavin and myself here early in the morning and then they were gone. So maybe you haven't seen them yet. The Zoltanite earrings at $6.99 getting a pair of 8 by 5 millimeter uh, oval cuts, very similar in look and style to the pendant that we just showed you, so they're an exact match. 1.75 carats is the uh, carat weight of the Zoltanites. Thanks, Kathy. And then you have the 16 diamonds, item number 458569. For those just tuning in, Gavin, please remind us again uh, as to what Zoltanite is. I know many of our time zones, as you can appreciate, you come from Thailand. You don't sure. probably even know what time zone you're in right now. No, I don't actually. But right now, you know, <laughs> <Where am I? laughs> it's <am> <laughs> barely after 5.30, coming up on 6 in the morning, Pacific time. Mm -hmm. So some of the, and we have six time zones here in Canada. Wow. So there's a lot going on. People are joining us all the time. So my point is, if you could readdress what Zoltanite is. Sure. Please, it's, a, it's a natural color-changing gemstone yep. that comes from one place in the world. Yes. It's always supplied eye clean and cut to optimal proportions uh, to ethically mined with environmentally safe techniques. Yeah. Does that sum it up in a, in a I sentence? I think so, definitely, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, so what, what I mean by a color-changing gemstone, when you take it into different light sources, the gem will react differently to that light. Yes. So, for example, in sunlight, we're going to see kiwi greens with flashes of canary yellow. Yes. When we go into a, a, an indoor lighting environment, we're going to see the rich champagne hues, what we're seeing here, some sages and those kind of yeah. hues. Candlelight, we're going to get the, the uh, wonderful uh, pinks and raspberry hues coming through. And, of course, in a mixed lighting environment, you get to see everything happening at once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely. Very, very nice. A color-changing gemstone from one area of the entire world in Turkey, uh, as you've been talking about, with a very limited production. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's one mine. I mean, so one put that in context. I yeah. mean, it's just one mine. And, and, of course, it's a very challenging gemstone to mine. Mm. Uh, you know, okay. 4,000 feet above sea level. You know, uh, yeah. in the months from, uh, let's say, uh, October through to June. Yeah. The, often we can't get up there. Uh, the roads wash away. Um, we have heavy storms, yes. and we have to repair the roads before we can get access. So yeah. yep. it really is, yeah. you know, it, it is quite a remote location, beautiful, pristine location. I, I mean, that. unbelievable. Turkey is one of those countries. I've never been, but I've spoken to enough people who have, mm -hmm. and they say it's one of those unsung heroes that, that people just have to visit. It's breathtaking. It is. I mean, you know, you know I've, I've been very fortunate in my career as a, as, as a, as a, gem, a, gem, a gem expert, I suppose I would call myself, mm. uh, to travel to many countries. And Turkey definitely has a, a wonderful blend of East and West. Yeah. yeah. I love hearing stories about it. Now, this ring...